This is your CBS 46 News update. Good Friday afternoon. I'm Karen Greer. We told you the Piedmont Park Conservancy started a safe haven fund this week, raising money for safety upgrades. Well, we learned the group has already raised about $45,000, which will be matched up to $100,000 by an anonymous donor. The Conservancy says it's now working with public safety experts to figure out what changes are best. School districts here in Georgia and all over the country facing a growing problem, a severe shortage of school bus drivers. Just last week, dozens of DeKalb County bus drivers called out sick through Tuesday of this week, uniting for a sick out day, demanding more safety protocols. The other barrier to becoming a bus driver, you must have a commercial driver's license, which requires months of training. With few applicants, the shortage could continue all year. MARTA will require weekly COVID testing for unvaccinated employees. This begins October 4th. Vaccinated employees are supposed to upload the vaccination cards to human resources to avoid the testing. Almost 860 MARTA employees have come down with the virus. It's a big day for us here at CBS 46. Today is our annual Books to Kids donation drive. Our program has already helped give children across in schools across Metro Atlanta more than 50,000 books over four years. You can drop off new or slightly used books at four McDonald's locations all the way up until 630 tonight. These are the locations we are on Ernest uh, Barrett Parkway uh, in Kennesaw, McGinnis Ferry Road in Alpharetta is where I'll be, uh, Commerce Drive in Decatur, and Highway 81 East in McDonough. Hope to see you there. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.